Good morning, my YouTube family. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you the, the Bible verses to look up for yourselves. Uh, Hebrews 1.14, James 5.13, let them pray. Psalm 91, when you pray, angels come down and they cover you and they protect you and they they take you out of your trouble. John 3.17, John 3.16, Judges 16.28, when Samson lost all his powers, what did he do? He prayed, he prayed, he prayed, and he got back his power. Um, the Lord placed upon me today many things. I was up all night and I still haven't slept um, regarding many things. Um, New York was the first state to uh, legalize abortion in the 70s. And in the same time, they built the Twin Towers. These are all from the evil one. The um, They worship Baal, okay? Now the Twin Towers fought, fell, and now there's one. One Twin Tower, one world government. When they signed the bill to kill babies in the mother's womb at full term, Hillary Clinton was standing beside, right beside the person signing the bill, and after they signed it, they celebrated, they cheered, and they lit up the one twin tower, the one world government, in pink, and pink and red, the colors represent the blood of babies. The only other countries that abort at that time, at, at that term, full term, Guess what they are? China, North Korea, communist countries, even Europe, they don't do that, okay? Now, um, our country is, it's never been so divided, my family. It's never been so divided as it is today. Democrats are celebrating abortion. They, um, it's just, it's gruesome. If you look online, they show pictures. It's, it's, it's horrible and it's gruesome. Um, now, there is a window that the Lord is giving, a window of time for revival. I'm not, politics are uh, causing division. Republicans, Democrats. However, the Republicans for years have been the ones to stop abortion to the conservatives and the ones that signed the abortion links in New York actually stated that they did not want conservatives in that state. Okay? So again, it goes back to the Clintons. Now, the the revival isn't happening, okay? It's 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 not happening. Hollywood is bad. Um, Washington is bad, uh, but I do believe there still is a chance for revival, and that's why they brought Trump in. I know that there's a lot of Trump haters out there, but he did stop that law of full-term birth abortion. The hand that signed the Twin Towers is the same hand that signed the World Trade Center, and it's all built on defiance, all of it. All of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. I implore you, no matter what you're going through, okay? Please, please listen to me here. Please listen to me, my family. Please. Many of you, as myself, we're suffering. We're suffering. We're suffering. We're suffering and suffering. We're filled filled with distress, broken hearts, death, lost hope. <sighs> I'm sorry. The Bible states, let them pray. Let them pray, okay? Please pray and the Lord will come down. The Lord will answer your prayers. He says it over and over and over and over in the Bible. Pray, pray, pray. We must pray. Okay? We must pray. 
The enemy is whispering in everybody's ear and they're making us all busy coming and going for money, for work, for this, for that, to, 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 to uh, detour us from praying. He is making all of you, everyone, all of Americans, all of the nation, caught up in things, materialistic things. Money, money is the root of all evil. If you love money, then you hate God. If you love this world, then you hate God. And that's what the enemy is doing, whispering in everybody's ear to, oh, you need your car payment. Oh, you need this. Oh, you need that. And 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 taking you away from prayer. And in Ecclesiastes, it states that you are... Um, toiling under the sun and just chasing after the wind. Without God Almighty, none of those things matter. Don't look to the Kardashians. Don't look to Hollywood. Don't look to all those rappers. They're all signed their name in blood and gave their soul to Satan, okay? That's not where you want to be. You don't want to be there. You want to wear the crown of Jesus. So please, I implore all of you, please pray, pray. Don't be deceived by the evil one. He's a liar. He's lying and whispering in your ear to detour you from praying to Jesus Christ. There's not one problem in this world that God cannot conquer. There's not one. He created everything. And if you don't believe, you're just stupid. And wake up. Period. I'm angry and I feel very bad for the people that aren't listening. There's only a short time left. The end is near and there's still time. The Lord doesn't, God does not want to, 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 to destruct us. The, the God wants us to live in happiness. He's the best businessman there is. He wants us to have. He wants us to be peaceful. He states in the Bible, all that are weary and tired, come to me for rest. Please pray and look up the verses that I have given you. Hebrews 1.14, Psalm 91, James 5.13, and Judges. Please, Judges 16.28, read the, read the book of, of, of Samuel. Read, read the book of Daniel. Read the book, read all the books. Read them. You will be elated. You will be at peace. Okay? This is the truth. This is the truth. I only speak the truth. I fear God and I want to be the one at the end of the line, at the end of the, this, this game. This earth is a game and whoever gets to the end with their soul wins the crown of glory for Jesus Christ. Be one of his warriors. Don't be a warrior like everybody else for the evil one. He's a liar. He's going down and he wants to take all of you with him. So don't be on his side. Be a warrior for Jesus Christ and God Almighty. This little Italian girl is coming back stronger and harder. I am a warrior for Jesus. He's my life, the love of my life. I'm married to him, and I love all of you. God bless America. Please pray, read the Bible, and I'll be back. Ciao.